Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to the Mina channel. No camera today as I'm recording this while I'm working. But anyway, so today uh, this is the biggest news I think that I had in quite some time. And this is something we actually been waiting for a while as well. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about the uh, additions or the stuff that we're going to be seeing in the DLC for Nocturne. And this is all the Japanese uh, confirmed DLC so far. And I just wanted to go over it because it's interesting that a lot of this stuff is actually pretty cool if you're new uh, into the games and you want to kind of uh, get more out of the stuff now a lot of these uh, DLC is actually pricey you have to pay for it so let me go ahead and talk about this and we'll talk about the free stuff we'll talk about other stuff so number one DLC which was already confirmed before and this is merciful mood uh, this is the uh, easy mode I guess the easiest mode to play this game now uh, if you never play Nocturne Nocturne is a pretty difficult game so a lot of the new people the new people that are starting from let's say persona 5 or something like that will probably want to get that lower difficulty just because the game is a little harder but again it's not something impossible some people play the games like that some people don't so it's a preference thing so that's a free dlc the next dlc is actually a dlc for 980 yen that roughly translates to about nine dollars and eighty cents however this is just a rough translation so uh, so this pack is a Mania's pack and we talked about this one before it's also uh, pretty cool this one comes with the Dante DLC which allows you to play as Dante instead of uh, Raido uh, so that one's cool um, another one is um, two separate DLC which are different maps to allow you to grind more one allows you to grind for obviously XP and the other one allows you to grind for money so one uh, they are both uh, the 350 yen each uh, the one is called the Young Master's Compassion and the other one is Master's Expectations. So this is pretty cool DLC, this is stuff that we actually, I don't think I've seen before. Um, but again, I don't know because I only played one version of the game and I don't know which version of the game I played because there's a lot of different versions of the original Nocturne game, so yeah. Now, the going to the actual coolest stuff, this is literally the best things that they announced. And this is actually a Vortex World BGM. Uh, challenge pack so meaning that um, they're gonna be doing a bunch of DLC where you can change the, the music not only on the battle but the, on the rest of the game um, so we're gonna be doing uh, Shin Megami Tensei 1, Shin Megami Tensei 2, 4 and 4 Apocalypse so you can actually change the music to all these different ones all of them are 220 yen which is roughly about $2.20 um, these these usual ones you probably see them on a pack for all of them for like five ninety nine or something like that in English money so I'm sorry non uh, American money so it just really depends on what it do um, so that's pretty much all the DLC that we have here um, there are gonna be some additional content that we had already known about I think. And, and that's gonna be things like the um, Puzzle Boy and Burial Chambers and obviously New Game Plus and uh, suspend data which is uh which is paid saving which is pretty cool you can save at any time um that way instead of you know going back and forth and everything you can save all the time and continue your gameplay and everything anyway that is pretty much here um the game is scheduled for a release in japan in september 29th and then we have a release date of the West in spring 2021. So that's what the dates are right now. Everything that's all the DLC that we have right now. So that's pretty exciting and interesting. A lot of this stuff is stuff that I wanted to know for some time. So really, really happy that we finally got uh, clarification on the DLC and everything. And what else do you guys want to see from DLC? I actually was thinking about doing a video of possible DLC. But then this news that draw announced actually had to change my video altogether. Because that was my video for today originally. You know what? ideas for dlc and so on but never mind right then we just don't get that anyway that's pretty much this video here today if you're new please consider liking and subscribing let me know what kind of dlc you would like to see from them if they were to do more dlc like this anyway that's it for today i'll see you guys next time Bye bye